Hi, this is the Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 148. The word origin today is a cup of joe. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, if someone wants a cup of joe, it is an informal and usually humorous way to refer to a cup of coffee. Yeah, we don't have a lot of funny ways to refer to a cup of coffee, but this one is slightly funny. If somebody wants to say a cup of coffee in a slightly different way, say, yeah, I could really go for a cup of joe. Okay. So um, that's what sometimes people may have wondered. I always wondered that myself. So why do we say cup of joe? What, is, what does joe have to do with coffee? And we, we know joe is a name. Uh, joe is usually short, short for the name Joseph. Uh, but why do we say a cup of joe? Anyway, so that's what we will try to answer in this video. So let's continue. Uh, there are several theories as to the origin of why we say a cup of joe. One theory is that Joe also has the meaning of a fellow or a guy, probably because it used to be one of the most common names, and, and is still a very common name today. Uh, and a cup of Joe uh, was considered one of the most popular drinks for the common man. So yeah, the mo one of the most common drinks, of course, is coffee. So this could be one possibility. This is also where we get the idea for the phrase an average Joe, too, like an average man, an average fellow. Remember, you, you probably know that phrase as well. We say an average Joe. So also comes from the idea of another meaning of Joe, just meaning fellow or guy. Okay, let's continue. Um, another theory, or a second theory, is that during World War I, many soldiers were served instant coffee from the G. Washington, which stands for George Washington, Coffee Refining Company, uh, it was often abbreviated as Joe, uh, which, was, which when pronounced sounded a lot like Joe. So they just pronounced the G-E-O, which, you know, was the short for George. So I guess people just might have been calling it Joe uh, for short for George. And in that case, they said a cup of Joe. Well, I guess it's another possibility that some people think. Uh, a third theory, and possibly the most likely one, that's what most people say, um, came from a 1931 military officer's, officer's manual, which referred to a cup of joe, uh, or a cup of jamoki. Uh, a portmanteau, remember portmanteau, that's when you take two words and you combine them together to make a single word. A portmanteau of Java plus Mocha. So you take Java. Now, Java, remember, that's a place in Indonesia, but it's very famous for, you know, um, exporting coffee. So it could have been from that. And Mocha, of course, another type of coffee. So maybe it was um, a mixture of Java plus Mocha. That's what many think. Uh, and was eventually shortened to Joe. Okay. Let's continue. A last theory. Uh, came from the idea that the Secretary of the U.S. Navy, Joseph Daniels, and of course, again, his short would be Joe for Joseph, uh, Joseph Daniels uh, outlawed all liquor on Navy ships in 1914, and it made black coffee the strongest drink on the ship. They claim sailors started to call it a cup of Joe as a protest. All right, so these are all possibilities. Um, the first known appearance was around 1930. So that's why some people think maybe the third one is maybe the most possible. But there are some others that say it was around before that time too. So it's hard to know for sure. But these are four very possible theories of why we say a cup of joe. Okay. And we just give one example here. Um, I need a cup of joe every morning to wake me up. Yeah, so again, like I said, it's a, it's a more informal sort of humorous way to refer to a cup of coffee. Anyway, I hope you got it. Hope you found it interesting. Again, if you like these word origins, you know, help you remember the word, uh, I'd appreciate if you give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.